Welcome to A Perfect Touch. I'm Jeanette. This is such a wonderful time of year. It's the time of year when those of us who costume year-round in historical, fantasy, cosplay, and whatever suits our fancy, watch those who only costume for Halloween join in the fun. The stores and websites are full of all the spooky, magical, and my favorite, witchy costumes and decorations. I joined a collaboration for hashtag historical Halloween in 2020 and had an amazing time creating the illustration from a 1926 Denison booklet for a cray paper costume. The link for the hashtag historical Halloween playlist for 2020 will be included in the description. So let's do it again. Inspired by artists and illustrators on Instagram whose style reflects unique personalities and exceptional creativity. The beautiful designs of wistful.art witches. Chloe.z.arts, who often creates historically attired witches. And Roy the Art, who has incredible series for astrological signs and birth month witches. With these styles and creativity as inspirations, a collaboration idea was born and the title is Hashtag Whimsical Witches. Create a costume reflecting your unique personality, passion, talent, interest, or dream, and share your creation on any and all social platforms with the hashtag. I love tea. Black, green, white, all blends, all flavors. And I don't know why, as it wasn't part of my upbringing, but has become an almost ritualistic part of my adult life. And my friends and family know of this love, and gifts are easy when my name is on the list. Well, you get the idea. And I also love flavored honey sticks. I'm not an expert. I'm not trained. I'm just a lover of tea and have shared it whenever possible. In 2009, I hosted my first public tea, where I also shared my new passion of Victorian costuming. I invited a fun group and presented Victorian dressing from the inside out or How did they wear all that stuff? I had set the tables with my collection of Tea for One, which is a nested set of teapot and cup. I invited 20 people and knew many didn't know each other. I had two sets of 10 designs and part of the fun was to find your teammate, the person with the teapot identical to yours and introduce yourself. We shared food, friendship, And then I gave the presentation from garments I had made shown on an antique dress form named Victoria and a modern dress form named Vicky. I've organized and hosted Edwardian and Victorian events and classes in my state, and tea and friendship have always been a part of those wonderful times. In 2011, I began hosting monthly teas at senior living communities in several states where I worked. A collection of beautiful teacups appeared at an estate sale, and I brought them home with me, 
and set out to host my teas. Each month I had a theme, white teas, teas and tiaras, Valentine tea, Mad Hatter teas. And sometimes I switched it up a bit and added hot chocolate with lazy snowmen. But the most popular of my teas were always my witch's brew teas. We had so much fun wearing the witch hats I brought, watching my brew boil and bubble, ginger ale, pineapple juice, and lime jello, enjoying the decorations and treats, then practicing a few white magic spells to sleep well and throw our troubles away. Would it surprise you to see that I also costumed for this particular tea? The seniors loved it. And so did I. As you've probably already guessed, my whimsical witch will be inspired by my tea passion, and in particular by the tea that has become my everyday tea during these uncertain times, organic chamomile with lavender. Now it is time to put all these inspirations to paper I have a binder for each year with tabs for the project and note all my plans, design, patterns, and fabric ideas. I have an envelope to keep swatches and receipts for what I purchase. I've been eyeing these reproduction historical patterns from silk and thimbles on Etsy, and this is a perfect time to give this new-to-me pattern line a try. The skirt is the Josephine, a 1916 skirt, and the blouse is Elvira, a 1916 waist. I'm considering using an out of the portrait pattern for the hat. I've made this hat before and it has a nice size brim for the embellishment I'm considering, but as of now, that design is still in progress. My whimsical tea witch will, of course, be serving tea, and for that it will be necessary to wear a pretty apron to protect the skirt and blouse. The chamomile with lavender tea is a favorite. Also, yellow and purple are favorite colors. This year, I have had the A Wicked Witch project in purple and the 1870s carriage gown project in pale yellow. And fortunately, I purchased enough fabric of both colors when they were on sale in case I wanted to create additional items for the pieces of those costumes. As I work on this project, I will see how to best use the fabric I have for the skirt, blouse, and hat. I do have some surprises in store for a whimsical tea witch, and we'll just give you a glimpse, but we'll save the, all of that for the final reveal. Please join customers everywhere who are creating their unique whimsical witch, and let me know here or on Instagram at a perfect touch underscore Jeanette so I can enjoy it too.